All right, the next thing I say may be mind blowing to you. Okay. Okay. The tide doesn't actually come in and out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happens is there is a bulge of water, two of them on opposite sides of the earth caused by the sun and the moon and earth turns inside that bulge. Mm -hmm. So when we say the water rises and falls tidally, what's happening is we are rotating into the bulge and then out of the bulge. So the bulge is already there. It's already there. And all we kind of do is pass through the pass bulge. Pass through and the water gets high mm -hmm. and it gets low. So we're stuck with language from our own perspective rather than language of what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. It's simpler that way to say the water goes in and yeah, out. Now. It's simpler to say the sun set rather than Earth rotated such that our angle of view on the stationary sun fell below our local horizon. Right. Yeah, sunset is far more poetic. Yeah, yeah you, just, you go to yeah. the sunset tables, yeah. you know, to look this up. Yeah, because you can't say to a girl, hey, how'd you like to go and watch the angular momentum of the Earth <laughs> cause the sun to disappear behind a horizon? <laughs> Hello, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at just the Earth and the Moon for the moment. Okay. Okay. Many people think the Moon is what causes it. No, the Moon is two thirds of the tides. Okay. Okay. The Sun is another. It's two thirds, three quarters. Depends on the distance. The Sun has its own tides on the Earth. Oh snap! Wait. In fact, the tides that the Moon raises on Earth mm -hmm. are the same no matter the phase. Okay, no matter the phase of the moon, which yes. there are some people believe that when you have a full moon, what you have is a higher tide because you have a fuller moon. You do have a higher tide. Oh, snap. But the tide that the moon raises on the Earth is basically the same, no matter its phase. No matter its phase. What happens at full moon uh -huh. is that the sun's tides add to the moon's tides precisely. Oh, snap. We talking about a tide assist from the, the sun? The tide assist. Oh! A tide assist. And so that's why- And that coincides with the full moon. Coincides with the full moon. Because nice. the full moon, you got the moon here, right. Earth and the sun, everybody lines up. That's what it is. In fact, we have a word for that. It, it has the most number of letters when scripted a uh, dip below the line. Okay. I know that's a weird record to hold. Right. The word is syzygy. So syzygy is when three or more objects come into alignment cosmically. Right. So you have the moon, the Earth. Earth, the moon will have the same tide it would at any time, right. but now it lines up with the sun. Right. They add together, you get the highest, highest tides tide. at full moon and new moon. So now I ask you, when would you get the lowest tide? Uh, when the sun is not lined up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me quantify that. So when the sun is at 90 degrees, right. the sun is pulling this, this way, way, and the moon, the moon is, pulling is pulling that way, way, and the two waves right. basically cancel. Exactly. They try to cancel one of them, so you have the lowest tide. It's called the neap tide. The neap? Neap. Neap tide. Neap tide. See, look at this. It's not the moon. It was the sun all, all the All the time. It was the sun all the time. I see, and you think because- Wait, wait, so when people say, uh -huh. I feel the extra tidal forces from the moon yeah. when it's full, right. it's just bullshit. 